in this exercise, we're going to practice uh, using some of the render tools. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to open the file that we're going to work with. So, I want you to navigate uh, to your uh, Visual Tips directory, all 3 dm files folder, and inside there, you're going to find a file called USB Drive. So, let's go down to the U. USB flash drive. So we're going to select that and drop it onto our Rhino screen. Bring this down here and we got open file. So click OK. And now as you can see, if we zoom, we have a small a flash drive. Uh, the same flash drive that we you received the visual tips in. So we're going to go to perspective, right click, and we're going to choose rendered mode. And here is our flash drive. And this is just a shell, it doesn't have the internals, but just for rendering the outside. So now that we have the, the model ready to go, let's open up the panels that we're going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is go here and click on Properties. And the Object Properties open up. And then I'm also going to need Environment. So I'm going to go click on the little gear and choose Environment. I'm going to need the Ground Plane. I'm also going to work with the Libraries. And I'm going to work with Materials. So now that I have all my panels open that I'm going to use. Let's place this on the side here. Let's dock it. There we go. And now we can go through all our different tabs. So let's let's go in and go into our library. And let's get this uh, simple basic material and drag and drop it into the workspace. And now if we go to materials that material is right here. So I want you to right click on that, click duplicate, and then right click again and select duplicate one more time. So now we have three of the same material. The first one was going to be called red plastic. The second one is going to be called silver. And the last one is going to be called White Reflect. So, now we have three materials right here. The first one is going to be a dark red. So, I'm going to bring the red color a little bit down over here. And uh, by looking at your USB drive, you can see that it's uh, glossy plastic. And uh, it's a little bit transparent. You can see the stuff inside. All right, so that is going to be our plastic. Then the silver, we obviously know what we'll need to do to that. Change it to a gray color. Maybe this medium gray over here. And give it a little bit of a gloss finish. Something like so. And finally, the last one will be white. And uh, we'll raise the reflectivity maybe 25%. So now, very simple, guys. Select plastic pieces the model. Right click the red plastic and assign to selection. And you should now see the red. Now select the silver parts. Right click the silver material and assign to selection. There we go. The next thing I'll do is we'll go to ground plane. We're going to turn that on and choose the white reflective material. 
and as you can see it's starting to look like what we intended the next step is to go into the environment change to environment right here and I'm going to go into the plus symbol here and I'm going to go to this option here it's kind of out of the screen but the second one says import environment from file we click on that one and that allows us to go into a render content library where the environments are and right there we're going to, I'm going to choose uh, maybe uh, let's say Rhino Rhino Studio environment and that gives us a little bit of better illumination on our document and now what we're going to do is right here in the front view we'll select this part we go to properties and then we go to the decals we click decals then we click add we click new we're going to choose bitmap texture and what I want you to do is navigate to your visual tips directory go into the all 3 dn files there you will find textures and inside of textures you will find USB logo tips version 5 decal we choose that as our decal and there it is we click OK and it's going to be planar click OK one more time and now we go and place it I'm going to start down here at the bottom of the drive go to the right over here before the loop here so I'm going to stop right around here and then there we can I can see the aspect ratio there the square hit enter and there we can see the tips label on so we can hit enter and as you can see now it's starting to look like our uh, flash drive uh, the next step uh, is to go to our render tools over here here we have our render settings so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and this brings up the options for rendering and here I'm just going to change to uh, 5x on the and maybe 800 by 600 activate the skylight for a little bit of a better better lighting there click OK now notice that everything we've done so far right now is all real time so if you don't if you, all you need is a preview of the drive or the product that you're working with uh, this this can be more than enough you can get different views from here and if you come over here you can go to capture you know to file and you can save that image you know right away to your hard drive uh, but you know we're gonna go ahead and render since we did all the settings so right now at this point we can just go and click on render 